subscribe with me as I take a neighborhood drive through tour of Sky Canyon. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today we are taking a neighborhood drive through tour of Sky Canyon. I've done one before in the past and I've also done a community tour. However, you know, with things growing, new construction, Sky Canyon's expanding, so I thought I'd do an updated video of this awesome master plan community. Right now I am on the 95 North, getting off of Sky Canyon Park Drive, and we're gonna head west on Sky Canyon Park Drive. Now Sky Canyon's been around for, I would say maybe 2016, 2017. It's been around for a little while and there are four different phases to this community. Let me get my little cheat sheet. It's around 1,700 acres. Sorry about the sun, it's bright out today. Um, with over 6,500 homes. And actually there's five parks, a recreation center, trails, schools, etc. in this master plan community. So today I'm going to be going over the newer construction, the newer parts of Sky Canyon and we're going to stop at all the community parks, the community center, the pool, the fitness center um, and then take a tour of the older parts of Sky Canyon. So we're just entering into the Sky Canyon community and to the right is the whole shopping center with the brand new Smiths that opened a year or two ago. They also have one of my favorite bars that I come to. I don't drink, but it's called the Sky Bar, and the food there is phenomenal. Excellent food. Every time I'm up here showing houses, I always like to eat lunch there. Right, Joey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have Joey here with it's me so today. Good. <laughs> the food is so good. <laughs> Our favorite is, is there a chicken sandwich or something yeah, like that? Yeah, chicken sandwich. Yep. And then there's a bacon. tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich and, and the smoked apple so bacon. Good. So, good. so good. So many calories. <laughs> so many calories. But you know, we're working all day showing houses. We deserve to treat ourselves, right? Right. <laughs> uh, so we are going to take a right. I'm going to show you some neighborhoods. Um, I know you can't see it right now, but at the stop sign to the left is the Sky Center which is the clubhouse, community center, fitness center, and the Sky Park is all right there. We're gonna do this one big loop and eventually make it to that area and I'll take a video footage of it. So we're taking a right on Sky Village. Now to the left is Sky Mesa, which is Century Communities. They're completely sold out. They've been around for a little while. Um, Century Communities has a big hold on Sky Canyon. There's a lot of Century Communities and also there's a lot of Toll Brothers. So we're taking a right right here in Canyon View. Across the way is another park, which we will go see in a minute. But Canyon View, um, to the left is Aviano by Toll Brothers. And this is an all single story community. Houses ranging between 1,800 to 2,000 square feet. There's a community pool gated. And then also Pinewood by Pulte Homes. Uh, Pinewood is completely sold out, um, but Aviano may have just very few lots left. Um, we're just going to take a right right here, or I mean a left real quick to show you this one community. It's called Ridgeview um, and this is by Woodside Homes. I sold a home last year in this community and a lot of the newer communities are all gated. Um, so that's something interesting to learn. The Sky Canyon Master Plan HOA is $84 a month and each of these gated neighborhoods will have their own HOA and also their own SIDS. Now SIDS is very common here in Las Vegas, especially in the newer construction master plan communities. Um, 
lids are in Henderson, SIDS are in the Las Vegas Valley. And SIDS are basically special improvement district. I've done a whole video on the exact meaning of SIDS, but basically it's for the infrastructure of the community, the lighting, the sidewalks, the electrical, the plumbing, etc. that the, the city poses on the builder and then the builder puts that bill onto you and you have to pay it off. It could be 10, 20 years um, to pay it off and it's paid biannually every two months. We're going to stop and take a tour of Big Sky Park. Um, this park recently opened up either this year or last year. It's a newer park so um, we'll go check it out. <laughs> Looks like they have a full basketball court, a covered play area, some grass, picnic, covered picnics, and um, bathrooms. And I think they have a, yep, they have a dog park as well for small dogs and large dogs. Look at those beautiful mountains. It is bright out. I cannot see if I'm recording or not. <laughs> That's nice. All right, I'm going to head back to the car. We're going to finish taking this tour. I love Sky Canyon. Okay, that was a, an awesome park. I really like the two dog parks the, for the little dogs on the big dogs. So we're going to get back on Sky Park and um, we'll probably go to the other park next and then continue touring all the new construction that's here in Sky Canyon. license plate in front of us says I had two. Mm -hmm. Not sure what that means. All right, looks like we're going to have to flip around because the only reason I need to see this park now is because I'm going to continue on and it'll be out of the way once I'm done doing a tour of everything. So we are going to flip around, check out this park. Like I mentioned, there's five parks in Sky Canyon. The name of this one is not posted. I know this one is super new and I know it opened up, I do believe this year, because I have clients that bought over here in the uh, Montrose collection by Toll Brothers. And I'll get into more detail about that community in a second. But let's check out this other park and um, I will see you on the flip side. This park is called because I don't see any signs. Maybe there's a sign right there. I'll have to go look. Um, but it looks like they have a full court basketball, uh, open field area, a shaded picnic area, a bathroom, which is nice, and a nice shaded park area. So that's cool. I like these light fixtures. They're very um, farmhouse type style. So this is a nice park. Of course, it's a weekday, so everyone is at school right now. Let me go see if... Let's walk to this sign. Let's see what the name is. Oh, there's a butterfly. Do you see it? Wow. I've noticed there's a lot of grasshoppers lately, too. I wonder if it's because of all the rain we've been having. Hopefully there will be a name on this sign. Nope. Damn it. Oh well. Sorry folks. Don't know what this park's called. <laughs> we will do process of elimination when we go to all the other parks. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go head into the car. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, Doki. Let's go. Looks like I'm gonna have to flip another bee again. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they put this bee in here. Especially people coming out from this park. Doesn't make sense, I think. Okay. So next is going to be, we're gonna go drive through this community. It is by Toll Brothers. It's a gated community. And it's called the Mont Rose Collection and the Vista Rosa Collection. And they have a community pool in this community as well. This opened up Last year sometime I do believe, I'm not quite certain about when everything opened because things tend to blend. Um, but Toll Brothers, for a good chunk, or most of the communities I've experienced, they have um, a community pool in it, which is very nice and it's gated. Now this is almost sold out. They may have a few spec homes left. They do, it looks like they may have a couple of dirt lots left as well. I just sold here this year. Um, I'm not gonna show you exactly, but I've done a video on um, my client's home. I think they brought the Braga and they're in one of these houses over here. <laughs> so what Toll Brothers started doing during the craziness and the busyness of the season is they started doing what's called spec homes or quick move in homes where they had selected all the options, the upgrades. See, that one says quick move in, home site 63. I'm sure all of these will be quick move ins. That way they can stay on top of how busy the real estate market was in the beginning of this year. And people don't have to wait because a typical Toll Brothers home sometimes would be over a year build time. Um, but then when interest rates started increasing, um, they have a lot of these spec homes that they need to get rid of. So now a lot of these builders, not just Toll Brothers, Taylor Morrison's done this, Century Communities, Pulte, they need to get rid of all this inventory by end of year. So they're offering a lot of great incentives. I'm not gonna go over exactly what all the incentives are right now, but a lot of them are offering buy down points, um, builder incentives for closing costs, etc. So the Mott Rose collection is an all single story collection and the houses range in size. There's three different floor plans to choose from, from 2031 square feet to 2370 plus square feet. Then right here, it's in the same community, is the Vista Rosa collection and they also have three floor plans to choose from and these are larger two-story homes ranging in size between 2880 square feet to 3249 square feet. So as you can see, there's a lot of homes built, but that doesn't mean that all these homes have been sold because they are mostly more than likely quick move-in homes with a few dirt lots left. Um, so Toll Brothers build time has been well known for over 12 months. I have a client that purchased a house last June of 2021 and their house will not close until this October 2022. And it's not a big house. It's by Regency. It's Regency, which is a 55 plus retirement community in uh, Summerlin South. That's a long time. That's over a year. That's almost like 15 months, right? It's a long time. <laughs> so now we're going to keep on touring um, and we're going to take a left up here. I can't read what it says. It says Grand Canyon and we're going to go to another newer Toll Brothers community called Paloma and Valera. They just recently opened up the model homes, but they were pre-selling ahead of time um, and they too also have a handful of quick move-ins and it's the same concept as what we were just at the Vista Rosa and the Mont Rosa however these are all two-story homes uh, the Paloma is um, much smaller than the Valera and the Valera homes are like over 3,000 square feet there's six different models to choose from three for Paloma and three for Valera so we're gonna keep on going and 
go to it. To the right, I don't know if there's going to eventually be anything more in Sky Canyon. And honestly, I don't know how much more years or how much longer Sky, Tan Sky Canyon is going to continue to be built. I like it because it's in the northwest side of the valley and it's not as crowded or congested as a lot of the other parts of the valley, especially the southwest side. It's more open, it's not as congested, it's not as crowded, there's not a lot of people over here. So it's very nice, I think. What do you think, Joey? Yeah, beautiful. Everywhere you turn, very there's clear. a mountain view. Very clear. And So this is Paloma and Valera, and this is also a gated community. I have recently done a model home tour of both of these communities. By the time I post this video, I don't know if I will have posted all the model homes. Maybe so, maybe not. But stay tuned to my YouTube channel for those model home tours. So basically, the Paloma ranges in size between 2263 square feet to 2543 square feet and the Valera ranges in size between 3272 square feet to 3682 square feet so obviously it's much larger and as you can tell there's a lot of dirt lots over on the Paloma side um, I think Paloma is not a popular selling as the Valera and I almost had a sell in Valera, but my clients decided to go for resale instead up here in Sky Canyon. Again, because of the build time and at that time when my clients were interested, they weren't doing too many spec homes. And I think that was the problem with my clients that bought in Regency when they bought last year in 2021, is that Toll Brothers has been focusing so much on these spec homes that I think that the people that have bought ahead kind of got lost in translation, if you know what I mean. This is not that big of a community. I think there's only a hundred some um, home sites. I probably should have gone there. Hmm. Yep. This will be a cul-de-sac. But the floor plans in the uh, Valeria and Paloma both are very nice floor plans. Now, by the time you watch this video, I don't know what type of incentives um, Pulte, I mean, sorry, Toll Brothers will be offering. That, so I'm not going to really go over what they are offering now. Basically, these builders are offering incentives on all the quick move-in homes, all the standing inventory homes, and not on the dirt lots. Now we're going to um, hit Eagle Point by Century Communities, and they're priced from the mid 400s, ranging in size between 2126 square feet to 2328 square feet. They have three different floor plans to choose from, and they too, just like Toll Brothers, have a lot of standing inventory homes. They have a buttload. Now, in this community, particularly because they have so many, they are offering $40,000 towards closing costs, either to buy down your points or to use part towards buy down points and closing costs. Now, also, as each month goes by and these builders can't get rid of these lots, they are offering also buy down points when it comes to or special interest rates at 3.99 or 4.99 or 5.99 um, and they're offering also adjustable mortgage rates at some of them are doing 2.99 3.99 and 4.99 for the rest of the for, you know 1.99 the first year 2.99 the second year etc and then um, and then once it reaches 4.99 you can refinance it in three years and hopefully that the interest rates are down or lower but I don't think the interest rates will, who knows, never say never, go much lower. So this community, let me see, they have 
54 total spec homes. That's a lot. And I think there's 155 home sites in this community. When we went to one of these builders, Century Community Builder, they said that pretty much Century Community owns Sky Canyon. So I found that interesting. The next one after Eagle Point is Marvella, and they're also priced in the mid 400 pothole, ranging in size between 1700 to 2114. These are a little smaller than Eagle Point. Again, as you can see, they're all gated communities. I don't remember the specific HOA for this community, um, but the Sky Canyon HOA is $84 a month. And they are also offering 40K in incentives. This could change by the time you watch this video. And they have a handful of standing inventory or spec homes. I don't think I can go any further. <laughs> and they have three different floor plans to choose from in this community. And all of these homes, I have done a video model home tour. I don't know if they will be posted by the time you watch this video, but stay tuned to my YouTube channel and I will have videos of all these model homes. I've done, in the last month or so, we've done at least 30 plus model home tours. And I thought, because of the way the market is going, that it was wise to get back on the bandwagon and start doing these model home tours. Um, because I think, if anything, for new construction, it really is a good time to buy, especially those builders that have all the standing inventory and they need to get rid of it by end of year. All right, so this loops all the way around and we're gonna go pass through another Century Communities, community. <laughs> and this one is Cantero 1 and Cantero 2. They're actually in the same neighborhood. Again, another gated community. And let's flip this. Now this community, because it's been around a little longer, is only offering, as of today, $30,000 towards closing costs or buy down. Um, so because they don't have many lots left. And they range in size. Cantero one is a smaller home size with three different floor plans to choose from. Ranging in size, from 1792 square feet to 2119 square feet. And then Cantero 2, which is much bigger homes, ranges in size between 2581 square feet to 2947 square feet. I really like the Cantero 2 models, the larger homes. They have very uh, good layouts and the layouts are well laid out. Now, if you are interested in buying new construction in Las Vegas, Sky Canyon, Summerlin, Henderson, before you even check out the model homes, it's very important that you have your own agent represent you. I am free of charge. And the famous saying I like to say, or the famous quote I like to say is, would you like to go to court without being represented by a lawyer? No. Um, I don't cost anything to you and I am a good sounding board for you, may be able to get better deals for you, negotiate better prices, especially in this market. And also, if you are moving from out of state, you may not know much about the different communities uh, of what's going on, and I would be able to go over all the new construction that's happening here across the entire valley, including North Las Vegas and Henderson. Um, so it's very important to have an agent, but we have to be there on the very first visit and register you. If that does not happen, then unfortunately I can't assist you whatsoever because these builders are very particular and they want me on the very first visit. End of story. 
No questions. Nope. Nothing. huge. Look at all these houses built. These are probably all spec homes. They're just waiting. Oh, finally. It's like getting lost. It's a big neighborhood. Okay, this is the way we came. So across the way, supposedly, there's going to be another Century Communities neighborhood. Um, I don't know. No one really knows what type of neighborhood if it's going to be, if it's going to be single-story or two-story homes. Supposedly that these two model homes are not indicative of what type of homes are actually going to be there. We shall see. Um, so right now we're approaching the so there's Sky Mesa to the left, which is another Century Communities neighborhood. Now we're approaching the Sky, uh, what is it, Sky Canyon Park, the Sky Center, and the Fitness Center. I'm going to pull over and take a tour of it, and then we will continue on with the older parts of Sky Canyon, the other phases. That was, we just toured all the new construction phases. Okay, looks like the park is open, which is nice. It's a very beautiful park. It's in the low 90s today. Kind of missed the wind. The other day it was a little windy. The wind is nice because it's kind of hot out today. It's a nice play structure. Oh, today's Thursday. Every Thursday they have farmer's market over here probably why the gate is opened. So the Sky Canyon Park is a 15 acre park adjacent to the Sky Center and Sky Fitness. Um, and then so it's easy access, accessible. Obviously there's a grass soccer field right here. There's the basketball courts, these beautiful kids play areas. And this actually leads into this one is locked. Oh, I see. Okay, this one's locked as well. And that comes from the fitness center. So we'll go to the fitness center, check it out. And like I said, every Thursday they have farmer's market here. crazy. I like this fitness center. It's a 10,000 square foot fitness center that has top of the line exercise equipment, a yoga room, an outdoor Olympic swimming pool, which we'll go look, and uh, the basketball court and juice bar exclusively for Sky Canyon residents only. Huh. How do we get over there? Am I missing something? I guess so. Alright, I'm going to push stop and then once we hit the fitness center then I will start up again. Yay, finally reached the Sky Fitness Center. 
I like this fitness center. It's very nice. And the nice thing about Sky Canyon is I like the whole cottagey, cabiny kind of feel to it. And I love the northwest part of the valley. Here's the juice bar. Okay, I got permission to record in here, but I gotta make sure that no one's in the shot. There's somebody in there. They got the nice Pilates equipment right here. I hate that. Can't wait for the new 14 to come out. Oh, there's no one in here. Look how nice it is. That's a great equipment. Alrighty. Now here is the beautiful Sky Canyon pool, which I'm sure it's closed because it is at the end of September. I'm not sure when I will post this video, but it's a nice pool. And then over here they have the water feature with another park. And then we're gonna go to the Sky Center and check that out. very nice park. Not too many master plan communities have amenities like Sky Canyon and Summerlin. And they also have restrooms. All right, now we're gonna approach the Sky Center. And this is the heart of Sky Canyon. It's an 8,000 square foot clubhouse. It's called a Rustic Contemporary. And they also have a, like, a coffee bar in here as well. See how it's kind of like lodgy feeling, very rustic. They have these like nice seating areas. All I need is, oh, there it is. They have a big fireplace right over there. They also have this nice outside seating with a fireplace and a couple of fire pits. Nice. I think I'm going to stop and get something to drink. Alrighty, that was fun. What did you think of all of those amenities? I love it. I remember when I did my first video up here and um, of course none of this was here at the time it was a couple years ago maybe even three years ago and it's amazing in that time frame how much this community has grown um, now we're gonna go through the other phases now forgive me I'm not too familiar exactly what all the subdivisions and what builders those were um, just because at that time I wasn't really focused on Sky Canyon or I was focused but I wasn't really focused on new construction in Sky Canyon and trying to show what it's all about I just you know didn't know much uh, yeah we'll go this way first we're gonna take a right on Eagle Canyon Okay, so the list of builders that are in Sky Canyon are Beezer Homes, Century Communities, Lennar, P 
Pulte Toll Brothers and Woodside Homes. As you can see, the bulk of what I've seen in the past year or two has always been Century Communities and Toll Brothers. Um, I did sell a Pardee home, which is now it's it's now Tripoint Homes, which is this onyx right here at Sky Canyon. So I know that these are former Pardee homes. Oh, yeah, maybe we can get in. And what I've noticed in each of these little gated communities is there is a nice park in there as well. I like Party, um, which is now technically Tripoint Homes, as you can sell, tell with the asymmetrical roof lines. Everything is very nice. And my clients bought a beautiful home. We can say hi to them. <laughs> you remember it? Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. It was this house right here in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped for a second because my cell phone um, overheated. And unfortunately, because of where I have my phone, the sun is hitting on it, it overheats. But the good news is I did buy a new camera, which I bought a dash cam that is plugged into a USB charger in my car. I don't have to worry about it overheating because of the battery, because it's always plugged in. So hopefully this footage is gonna turn out uh, better than when I was using my DJ Osmo or my GoPro. And that was the problem with doing all these videos was because overheating, the sun pounding on um, my dashboard. And I, I have not had any luck in the last several drive-through tours Normally it was the other, but this is the first time I've had it on my phone, which was quite interesting. So I guess that is a hint for me to speed up <laughs> <laughs> and get this drive through tour done. You know, we live in Vegas where, let's take a right, where it's sunny all the time. Whoops, there's nothing this way. Sunny all the time. There's pros and cons to that. I like having sun, but I also like to have some cloudy days. that way it's gonna take me to the street well let's just go this is not a stop sign I want to go there because it's gonna loop around maybe I'll just go part way so unfortunately I don't know what all these builders are at one point in time probably knew some of them because they were new construction I'm gonna flip around and go back the other way because we're going to eventually come back this way um, when we flip around. And this is Grand Teton. The nice thing though, if you can see that is not real grass, Sky Canyon was one of the first communities that actually started using uh, turf in lieu of putting real grass. So it looks very green here and it's fake grass, which is really nice. A lot of the neighborhoods have to, because of the water situation, have to convert all the grass to desert landscaping. The nice thing is because they were smart, Sky Canyon doesn't have to do that. It's interesting, there's no stop sign on this side of the road. We are gonna be approaching a park in a minute. I think it's Skyview Park and there's a tennis court We'll stop and take video of that park. Solitude by Sky Canyon, Acadia. I don't know what any of these builders are. All right, here we go. We're gonna stop and take a video. Skyview Park, I was right. Nobody is out. <laughs> It's just so bright out here, I can't see. All right, so here is a beautiful park. And again, it's what, it's one o'clock now, so everyone's in school. Um, we don't have to worry about children playing right now, but they have this beautiful covered play structure, a nice picnic area. Then they have the splash pad, which 
which is very nice. And also a restroom, an open grass area. And then tennis courts. Let's see how many tennis courts they have here. pickleball court. It is. Two pickleball courts and then one tennis court. Huh, that's interesting. You would thought that they would have more. Okay, I kind of skipped a little. So it's nice that um, just like in Summerlin, they have the neighborhoods leading into the parks and they have walking trails, which is very nice. It's a nice little park. So there's four different, well, there's a walking trail right there, a community right there and a different community right there. So I like the fact that it has those different options for different neighborhoods to connect to the parks here in Sky Canyon. So I'm gonna walk to my car, finish the tour, try to find the other two parks left here in the community. We've gone over three so far. All right, guys, see you on the flip side. Okay, we're done with that park. We're gonna finish taking a tour. Um, there is one more park to take a tour of. It's called Eagle Canyon Park. While we drive around, maybe we'll find it. And the other fifth park is supposed to be an up and coming park called Starlight Park. It's coming soon, so I don't know when um, when it'll be coming soon or if it is already here. Maybe so, maybe not. But we're just going to keep on rolling. So we did the Big Sky Park. We did the Sky Canyon Park. Sky View Park. That one that didn't have a name could be the Starlight Park very well. So when I first did a video on Sky Canyon, these houses were not here at all. And that was a couple years ago. This is a Somerset Academy. And I remember coming up here, walking to that academy. And then right here, it was sea of, of nothing, really. Some of the houses were being built. Oh, I should have taken a left. Across the way is actually a master plan community called Providence, which I have done a video tour of a while back. I will probably do a newer video tour soon. There are no new construction in Providence. It's pretty well established. But next to Providence, west of Providence, there are there is a new community called Sky Hills, which I have done a neighborhood drive through tour. If I haven't posted it yet, it should be on my YouTube channel. Uh, so to the right is Providence and to the left is Sky Canyon. the left this community uh, I don't know maybe Rainier. Rainier I don't know if those were Beezer homes or not I can't remember we're gonna keep on going straight and see where it takes us we're on Hualapai and Grand Teton Drive You know what, actually I think 2016 is when Sky Canyon was developed, 2017, because I remember 
to the left coming up here and looking at the new homes this is when before even the whole sky center was done and complete um, some of the homes you can tell were old Cal Atlantic homes um, and then Cal Atlantic actually they were Ryland homes then Cal Atlantic bought out Ryland homes and then Lennar bought out Cal Atlantic so it's kind of interesting the life cycle of it all and um, they were well known for having the rooftop decks. So we're gonna take a left on Grand Canyon, and that is the border of Sky Canyon. I do believe the houses past Grand Canyon are not part of Sky Canyon, yes. Um, so the ones across the way are not part of Sky Canyon. And I remember there was a Pulte community that was up in here. I don't remember much of anything else back then because I was so new to real estate and I wasn't really selling new construction back during that time frame. So again, everything to the right is not Sky Canyon and everything to the left is. And pretty much we've taken a whole loop around the community. Once we get up here to, I think it's Sky Canyon Drive. So in reality, there are no condominiums here in Sky Canyon. All of them are single family homes. I'm not sure if there's even townhomes in this community. I could be wrong, but I don't think so either. So we're now back on Sky Canyon Park Drive and that big Smith's Shopping Center is there. So that wraps up our neighborhood drive through tour of Sky Canyon. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if there were any builders or communities that I may have missed. Basically, I really wanted to focus on the newer parts of Sky Canyon to let you know how much this community has expanded since the time that it developed in 2016, 2017 timeframe. But if you're thinking about buying new construction here in Vegas, you know who to call me, Angela O'Hare at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.